Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Jeb Weekly. And on today's episode, I'm going to be breaking down what I actually do <laughs> on a weekly it's basis. A Tune in. But first, before we get started. Ah, so, with this series, I know you guys have seen a lot of the work, some of like the behind the scenes of the stuff that we do, but I thought today it would make sense to take a little pause from all this moving mess. I apologize if you see all this going on over here. Um, things are a little out of sorts right now. As I'm moving to a new place, which I'm super excited about. So taking a pause on all that to make this, to talk to you about stuff. It's gonna be great. But so first and foremost, <clears throat> I want to take a step back, share some of the names, the faces, the people that uh, our agency works with kind of on a week to week basis to help them move their brands forward online, kind of break down what we do more specifically <clears throat> with a focus on some of the projects that we've done. So first, over the past year and a half, what I tell people that we have done everything, all shapes and sizes. We've done websites, paid advertising, content creation, um, email marketing, <laughs> uh, e-commerce development, consulting, all of these different things that have really given us a great perspective of what we want to do moving forward. And I think we're really refining our focus now of what we're going to be doing in the probably through the end of this year and looking on to years to come. So it's been a huge learning experience for me going from working with one brand specifically now to working with, you know, on a weekly basis, we probably work with somewhere between like 10 to 15 to 20 brands, um, helping them with a variety of things. But at the core of what we do, kind of the, the, you know, the foundation of a lot of our engagements is gonna be content creation. We work with people like Kate Bowler, Gerard Adams, Joe Bunn, all to help them create content on a weekly and monthly basis that is a core part of what they do online, whether they are a personality that is impacting their audience, whether they're an educational brand that's helping their audience, you know, learn something or switch their perspective or gain further insight, or if they have digital products and content is being used as a way to engage their community, like maintain that front of mind awareness so that those brands move forward. Those are all what the personal brands that we work with are doing. And we love working with individuals. We get to really like lock arms with their teams. Um, and you know, we're showing up with cameras every week. We're planning their content calendars. We're doing research on what content they should be creating. We're advising on, you know, short form video content, this huge new thing that's happening. And it feels good to be able to work with our partners in a deeper capacity than just showing up with a camera. We can really advise, help and enable. That's where we have a lot of fun because we feel like we're bringing a lot of value to the table because that's what we love to do and that's what we live and breathe every day and we can really carry those insights to the people that we work with. Now other other types of things that we do, we'll work with small businesses to help them create content to represent themselves online. Whether it's brands like, like direct to consumer brands like Curist or Tom and Jenny's or B2B businesses like City Plat for commercial real estate or real estate agents like Kathy Reed, Christ Lays. We have a lot of interesting types of kind of content engagements that we'll do. Um, where people are looking to create something that talks about their brand. Maybe it's a staple video that they want to really talk about themselves, like this project we did with Jones Insurance. Or if it's a DTC brand, like I mentioned, Tom and Jenny's and Curious, who just want to refresh their advertising so that they can look better online than when they're doing their Amazon ads or their Facebook ads. They have refreshed content that's up to date with their latest packaging, their latest messaging, whatever they want next. And we have a pretty dynamic way of creating these things. Um, um, that's probably a little more budget friendly than working with like a high production operation because we're able to get it done right here, baby. Right here, HQ. But HQ is moving. We're not going to be here for long. Pivot! 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 Which I'm stoked about. We're going to be able to spread our wings. We're soaring. <laughs> um, be a little bigger, a little batter. Let's go. And then beyond, you know, the content kind of strategy relationships, the monthly retainers, the things where we're, we're locked arms with people or the one-off deliveries, we also have been able to do some brand development. One of the first projects I ever had as like an entrepreneur was working with Shine Water. Um, we got to work with our partner studio, Friend Of, shout out to Friend Of, for, you know, creating that brand 
you know, building the visual identity and then working with them to bring that brand to life on social media. Check out Shinewater social media feed right here. Um, and we're working with them on a weekly basis to bring the brand that we were able to create to life. Um, so we, we've done a couple of different brand engagements. We've got some other ones in the works that we're excited to talk about um, and get out to the world. And you know that mix of things is really where you know we, we continue to want to put our focus um, beyond those so we've got kind of the the monthly engagements of strategy and content creation then we've got the one-off content production stuff kind of project by project then we've got brand development the last element of really what what we love to do is paid media so whether you're trying to run youtube advertising or facebook advertising um, we've been able to work with a couple of our partners kind of on our content strategy engagements to then help them with their facebook advertising Instagram advertising, testing YouTube advertising. When that advertising is really being used to build an audience, to get subscribers or email addresses or followers or engagement on um, a campaign that you're running, that's where we've been able to really dial in our advertising to move the needle. We don't necessarily do a lot of e-commerce advertising at this point. We're looking at expanding our paid media team, so we hope to break into that further. But um, we've gained a lot of great insights in audience building and customer engagement and follower engagement that uh, we've, we've been able to you know, put into works with our clients right now to help them move the needle online. So that's a little more specifics about kind of what we do week to week. So you're probably saying, all right, Jeb, you told us like kind of who you work with and like what you got to do for those people, but what do like you do, bro? Like you just make videos all day. <laughs> This is part of what I do, <laughs> but on a real note, guys, um, so my role really started out at the beginning kind of doing everything, whether it was, you know, creating the content calendar to making the content to posting the content or to launching the advertising, you know, shooting all the videos, doing all of the editing one stop shop for the first little bot for the first little bit. But since then, we've been able to expand the team some to our core team that we've got four or five people on. And then we've got our expanded network of contractors that help us with a variety of those tasks as we look to scale. So on a weekly basis, what am I doing? I'm showing up to shoot still with the camera. I love the client interaction. I love being able to bring something to life together with the camera. I still enjoy that creative process. So I like to be at the shoots. Thankfully, we've been able to bring on some awesome editing help with our team. So I get to you know upload the videos and then have our editors take care of them and deliver them to the clients. I still handle a ton of the client communication, whether it's going through Slack or email, and then a bunch of our project management, whether that's you know Asana boards or projects that we've got running with contractors, making sure that things are running according to their timelines and being delivered because at the end of the day you know as an agency we're a service and the way that we bring the most value to people is when our service is super dialed we're super on the ball everything's coming in on time and you don't have to worry about us we're running we're getting it done we're aligned with you we can adapt to what you need but we're showing up with what what you need when you need it so that you're ready to go and keep building your brand and pushing forward so that's been you know we've had to build a lot of better systems around you know project managing making sure that we're really dialed in with stuff so my weeks have really changed it, what they look like now is completely different than what they looked like before but i'm having a blast with it and uh, we're gonna see where this thing goes so that's a little rundown of what we're doing over here at burt media group dba jeb and company uh so if you guys want to tune in check us out on social always feel free to hit me up on email jeb at jebandcompany.co and i will see you guys in the next video peace